guys, welcome back to my channel. I am currently in front of Barnes & Noble to film this video. So what I have for you today is I'm going to be choosing books to read based off of the five senses. So I already did a YouTube short where I smelled my TBR. I already did that to choose for scent. And so for touch, would you say like sound or hearing? Scent, sight, touch, taste, sound. So for touch, I'm gonna go to a random section that I know I'm probably gonna enjoy a book in. I'm gonna close my eyes and pick a random book and I have to get that book. And then for, for sight, I have to pick a book solely based on the cover. I don't get to read the synopsis at all. For sound, I'm gonna pick the highest recommended audiobook out of the books on my TBR. And then for taste, I'm not completely married to any idea yet. I think I'm gonna pick the first book that I see or like the most appealing book I see with like a yummy food on the cover or like a food in the title. I just don't wanna do like cookbook. So we'll see when I get in there what the vibe is what they have, what I see, and we'll go from there. Maddie will be filming for me today. So let's head on into Barnes & Noble. So first, I think I'm gonna go over to the romance because that's probably where I'm gonna be most likely to enjoy most books that I choose, and I'm gonna close my eyes and pick one. So let's go. Read. Okay, so here's my first book. This was for Touch. Now we're going to do Sight. I think I'm going to go to the YA for that. Am I talking too quietly? Because I feel like I'll like a lot of stuff there and I have to choose based off the cover. I'm not going to read the synopsis even until I get to the car. Like, I'm going to purchase it having no idea what I'm what I'm doing. Some of these I already know what they're about because of literally just having heard of them before or like almost reading them or whatever. So I have to pick one that I love the cover, but I don't know what it's about. Like the shot, you look pretty. Oh. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm just simply not gonna read that because I just, I just don't want to. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna be fair and honest, and I'm gonna spin again and touch something else, and then I just, then I just have to. Okay. okay. Faster, spin faster. No, spin faster. Can you spin faster. <laughs> summer I actually will read this one but I wouldn't have ever picked it had I not been closing my eyes so that actually works perfectly and I'm just gonna pick I'm gonna try to find a few books that like have to do with food or the title has to do with food or there's food on the cover and I'm just gonna pick the one that I think I have the best chance of enjoying so let's find some books <laughs> That was a cool shot. Now I'm in the thrillers, I'm thinking, look at that. That's exactly <gasps> what I was thinking of. Sounds adorable, no? Mm hmm Literally sounds like a Nancy Drew game. Murder and a Cherry on the Top. Okay. Just a cute little cozy read. <laughs> this because it's next in the series it's not for the video i just need it and then i will show you later when i pick out the audiobook that i'm gonna read and then i'll show you the book from the smell test i'm aware that the air is loud but i'm now reading the synopsis to this since i purchased it oh it takes place in new jersey <gasps> it has a foreword from my favorite author this was a good choice yeah, fun. This will be different. It'll be a cute little read. So to just to give this little interruption here, um, you don't need me to even tell you this, but you have free will. If you do this challenge and there's a book that you're just like, I don't want to pay for this. The point of this book is to pick up things that you wouldn't normally pick up, but it's also to enjoy them. Like I didn't do this just so I could buy a bunch of books that I'm not going to read. And I may end up not liking these books, but, but I didn't want to go into it like knowing I'm not going to enjoy it. So for the closing my eyes and turning around doing the touch one, I did it over because I was like, this just doesn't sound enjoyable like at all. And like the one I got, I never would have picked up that cover, but it does sound good. And so, you know, that's the whole purpose of the video. You have free will. Don't just because you're doing a YouTube challenge doesn't mean you have to spend $15, $20 on a book that you just know you're not going to enjoy. If that's the way you want to do it. That's also awesome. But I didn't want to do that. So I did it over. When you think about it, I could have just lied and picked up any book I wanted and done it that way. But I didn't. So <laughs> this is a safe space, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. And now I'm going to get to sound. So I'm about to research which of the books on my goodreads like want to read list ranked the highest or most highly recommended it may just be a random book it may be a book that i also already have physically uh so we'll see i'll let you know i am not in the audiobook space at all i used to listen to them when i was in school um because that was easier than pulling a book out in class but i haven't listened to them in a while but anytime i hear about audiobooks i hear about julia whalen wellen so i just looked up some of the books she's narrated on Audible and found one that is on my TBR but that I haven't read and I landed on One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid so I will be listening to that. And now that I have all my books either purchased or picked out, um, by the way, this was the winner of the smell test if you didn't see the YouTube short that I posted. It's just a really nice smelling book. Now that I have all five books picked out, I'm gonna read them and I'll let you know what I think.
Okay, I'm about to start Murder with a Cherry on Top, and honestly, I'm excited. I've never read a cozy mystery like this, and I hear that there is romance in it. I, I hear from the little reviews inside. I've never heard anything about this book because I'm not, this is not my, my niche, but um, yeah, the inside said there's like romance, there's a plot twist, there's lots of yummy descriptions of ice cream, so this should be a good time. Well, it's only been actual months since I started this filling process. But one thing you should know about me is I am a mood reader and I am not a disciplined reader. So this was an exercise for me, but we got it, we did it, I finished all the books. So first and foremost, smell. Um, I picked this book based off of smell. This is my favorite half nice day, half, whoa is my favorite half night stand by Christina Lauren. I lined up some books that I had on my physical TBR and I smelt them all. Um, I love the smell of books. This one <sighs> smelt the best. So I read it. I gave this a 3.5, 3.75. It was very cute. It had a quirky little cast of characters, a quirky little friend group. Um, they're all professors at a college and they're all trying to like be on these dating apps and get dates for this event and the girl ends up kind of catfishing her best friend I thought it was gonna be I'm not I don't like situations like that where I'm feeling secondhand embarrassment and I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to read than it was but it, you know it's Christina Lauren so it was just light and fun obviously I was going to enjoy this book because I it was already on my TBR I picked it up to read it uh, but yeah so can you pick a book off of smell? From my experience, yeah. Next was sight, uh, choosing it, no, no, no. Next was touch, choosing it with my eyes closed. Um, I ended up picking Second Chance Summer by Jill Shalvis. I actually really enjoyed this more than I thought I would. I originally picked up something else and I was just like, I can't spend money on this. I, I'm not someone who tries to like force myself through things and then I'm like, oh, I'll just DNF it. Like I did not want to waste my money on the other book. This one, I never would have picked up based on the cover, but when I read the synopsis, I'm like, yeah, I can enjoy that. Um, and I ended up writing this four stars. It's different. It's a little more of a, not like mature, but I don't know. The writing style just seemed more mature and concise. It was in third person, which I normally don't really care for, but I enjoyed it. The couple was very cute. This girl goes back to her little mountain ski town after many, many years. Her sister passed away there, so it's hard for her to be there, but she runs into the guy that she used to kind of-ish have a thing with, hence second chance summer. But it was fun. I really liked the setting. A setting really does it for me. It was good. So can you blindly pick a book off of touch? For me, you sure can. Then next I chose off of sight based solely on the cover. I love when red and pink are put together. I chose this, I don't know, this, this cute gal reminded me of me and I love the red and pink together. I did not read the synopsis until I bought the book and got in the car. So this was really like a shot in the dark. I, I think this is the one I ended up enjoying most. I rated this a 4.25. It was very different from anything I've ever read. It is about this girl who's in high school and it's just kind of her journey after her best friend moves away. It's like her conflicts with her friends that she's like not really actually close to. This kid who has a crush on her, her crush on a guy that doesn't know she exists, her track, her running career. But it was surprisingly like very smart, like very smartly written, uh, very funny. And I didn't think, there's like five books in this series just documenting her life from like, I think it's like 15 to 25. 
and I didn't think I would read the rest but after finishing this this is the one that took me the longest to finish or like the longest to like start but after I started it I finished it super quick um I think I will be reading the rest of the series because I just I like Jessica a lot and I really want to know how she gets through everything um because the book ends with never mind why would I spoil that for you sloppy first by Megan McCafferty gave it a 4.25 I very much enjoyed it. So can you pick up, can you judge a book by its cover? In my case, yeah. Then I judged based off of taste. Um, I picked this book. I went into the Cozy Mysteries because I figured there would be some kind of cute um, food related thing. And there was, and it's Murder with a Cherry on Top. This was the most out of my comfort zone because not only do I not read a lot of thrillers or mysteries, I've I never really I've never read a cozy mystery besides this. Um, and there was like a little bit of a romance subplot, but not a ton. And I'm big on romance; that's my most read genre by far. This was quick and cute. Well, she opens an ice cream shop. Her high school nemesis has a bake shop across the street, and then she gets murdered. But the the descriptions of ice cream in this I still have not like fulfilled that craving like I the ice cream flavors I need them she describes like I think it was called it was like pe peanut butter and jelly peanut butter on the playground peanut butter ice cream made with freshly ground peanuts and sweetened with generous generous globs of grape jelly I don't even know if that would be possible in real life, but I want it. It This surprisingly had a twist that I didn't see coming, but I thought was really clever. Um, so it was fun. I think I only rated this like a three and a half because it's not my normal, uh, but it was, it was decent. So can you choose a book off of taste? If we are going off of how much I want the ice cream in here, definitely. If we're going off how much I actually enjoyed the book, maybe. Last but not least, I listened to the audiobook for sound, for hearing. I listened to the audiobook of One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I think I rated it a 3.5, 3.75, which I'm really disappointed because Malibu Rising is a five star for me. Um, the seven, the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I want to say was like a four point something. I enjoy Taylor Jenkins Reid and I was very excited for this book because it sounds very up my alley. And I really think that I would have enjoyed it more if not an audiobook form because I'm just, if you are an audiobook person, that is great. That's amazing for you. I personally, I think I enjoy books less when I hear them on audio like I think the same exact books if I were to read them in physical form I would enjoy them more so there was nothing bad about it I just feel like I couldn't dive into it as much as I would have if I read it normally I still enjoyed it I still think it's a good good book in the audiobook performances like it was good like it wasn't a bad audiobook even but <laughs> um I think, I don't want to say it was my least favorite because I think probably Murder with a Cherry on Top was my least favorite. I liked them all, but this was the most out of my comfort zone. But I don't know. It was on like the lower end. It definitely wasn't a five star or anything. And I was expecting it not to be a five star, but to be like higher up. So can you choose your books based off of sound? If you enjoy audiobooks, you probably 100% can. If you don't, maybe not I don't know so I hope that you enjoyed that um that is me choosing my reads off of the five senses I feel like this was a good experiment because I never just like blindly go for a book I think I know myself pretty well when it comes to books and I I cater to my preferences pretty well so this was a good I don't feel like these were super out of my comfort zone. The audiobook was out of my comfort zone. The Christina Lauren book, not so much. More adult romance, third POV, that was out of my comfort zone. The cozy mystery. And then the YA, not so much, but like it was a contemporary, not super romance based YA. So I feel like, yeah, I went 
fairly out of my comfort zone while still staying in what I thought would be things I would like. And for the most part, it worked out. I would probably do this again, maybe not on such a big scale. Um, I would definitely choose more books by their covers. And I would definitely choose more books by smell just because I think that's hilarious. Yeah, if you want to do this, there's really no hard and fast rules. You can just kind of do it however you want. I chose smell off of my own TBR. I chose um, the audiobook off of my own TBR. This is not a super hardcore challenge by any means, but if you want to do it and you want to do it with like super loose rules or super strict rules, however you please. But this was really fun and I recommend it. If you want to see me do this again or something like it in the future, let me know. Tell your favorite book creators about this and get them to do this challenge. Keep up with me for more book videos. You can follow my uh, Goodreads for everything I've been reading and my recommendations, reviews, and I'll see you later. Bye!